Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Matt Johnson and today I'm doing a quick review on the HJC F70 helmet. I've had this helmet for a few months now and uh, it was a bit of an investment, was a bit of a splurge for me, uh, a little bit more than I'd normally spend on a helmet. But uh, considering that we have more neurons in our head than when there are stars in the galaxy, I thought it was time to actually get a decent lid. So first up, we've got a, a very nice looking helmet and it has a bunch of features packed into it. We're talking about advanced fiberglass composite shell. It's got a decent opening that allows you to see really clearly. So I noticed immediately when I put on the helmet, uh, better visibility. Uh, and another thing that's really important to me is airflow. So we've got these vents on the top, which have a really nice solid feel to them. And we also have this vent at the back, which actually draws the air through the helmet. So even when the helmet's closed, you are getting a little bit of airflow out the back. We've also got vents in the front and another vent here. So you have the option to really control how much airflow is coming through the helmet. I found that as well as being a, overall a very comfortable helmet, it's less claustrophobic than previous helmets that I've owned. It has a little bit more breathing space or a little bit more space between your face and the front of the helmet. 1,550 grams. Now we've got a mechanism that is really easy to operate when you're riding the bike and it locks away and it doesn't rattle. In the box, you'll get a pin lock shield. Now, if you're not familiar with what a pin lock shield, it is a, an insert that drops into just behind the visor and that just stops your helmet from fogging up in humid, rainy or cold conditions. It's also very compatible with the Kaido Freecom 4 Connect headset unit. Previous helmets that I've tried to install that into uh, just didn't really fit properly. It was pressing it against my ears and I had to do some modifications. HJC do have their smart Bluetooth technology, which is fits into a recess in the back of the helmet. I'm going to still run with the Freecom 4 Plus. If you're interested in more information about that, head over to my other videos on the subject. They've also very kindly thrown in a little chin guard there that just allows you to extend that chin covering so when you are riding in colder conditions that's going to keep the wind and the cold air from coming up into your helmet and I also find that does help a little bit with the microphone placement being right there just reduces a bit of that wind noise. Installation and removal of the breath deflector so this is your breath deflector super simple you really just pull it out it just pops out riding in the rain it has a really good seal when this clips down and locks into place, that's a really good seal. We've got little lip tabs on the left and the right of the visor. It's a nice looking helmet overall and really feels like you're wearing something on your head that is going to protect you. Hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know your thoughts or comments below. If any of you out there are thinking about buying this helmet, I highly recommend it. So safe riding out there people and see you in the next one. Peace. And one more feature I thought I'd like to mention is the spaces that they've included so that you, when you put your sunglasses in, it doesn't press against the side of your head. So putting your sunglasses on, super comfortable. They sit in there really nicely. It's almost like this helmet, they've just thought of just about everything that you'd want from a helmet. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.